The lovely potty mouth Liz Fair is back. The Chicago-based singer-songwriter who had critics bowing at her feet over her 1993 debut album, Exile in Guyville, just released her second album of frankly sexual rock songs called Whip Smart. It too has the music press cooing. We spoke with Fair and her bandmates recently when they hosted MTV's 120 Minutes to find out if Liz was feeling the pressure of following up such a splashy debut. Oh, not at all, nothing. No. <laughs> just before and just after the record are really tough. Because yeah. you're worried about what it's going to sound like before you go in. And then you worry about, is it good when you're done? And that's the point of the sophomore album that I thought was the most frightening, is that you don't know how it's going to play. You might have done something incredibly stupid. Yeah, I can play. <laughs> all those people out there that are like, yeah, you did. <laughs> 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 but, but, you know... Even you might think it was horrendous. I mean, I don't think my own. You know what I mean? So to get over it and feel like I could give myself like a good grade on it, that's, that's all you need. Russia with Standing Fair's Whip Rock and second album, Whip Smart, debuted at number 27 on Billboard's album chart. While Fair's talent for clever songwriting and arrangement are evident, her video directing skills are still a work in progress. Yeah, I'm responsible for the retarded <laughs> visual display it can be good or humor. Bad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It can be really good or bad. I mean, I get a lot of help, but like Supernova is my Scooby Doo thing. I mean, I start out with an idea, and I expect it to turn out completely differently. I expected it to be spooky. I actually expected that to be like scary. And when you get it back, you know, it's like going through romper room, like eh, boo. You know, we did the Ouija. Casey didn't want to do it. Casey's like, no man. Bad. Dangerous. Oh, Bad karma. No. Bad karma. <laughs> Bad mojo, man. Bad mojo. <laughs> totally. Fair plans on sharpening your skills by directing the rest of the videos off of Whip Smart, an album of songs that aren't as sexually brazen as its predecessor, Exile in Guyville, but then again, not that timid. If I can't say, yeah. I can't sing my song because it it's just throws nervous. me, I'm too nervous, it throws me off. It's ridiculous. That's the song. In that sense, that's what they have people up there with a button for, you know. Which they'll, they'll be using that today. Fair's recent stint on 120 Minutes is the only chance you'll get to see her perform. After playing live in public for the very first time last year, Fair has absolutely no desire to do it again. It's the force of the audience. You just, I'm too hypersensitive to it. I'm too afraid of, like, critical view, you know? I don't have that love me, you know? People think I do, but I don't have that. I have fear. While her stage fright and perhaps vocal performance is holding her back from touring for now, Fair may hit the road next spring. We'll keep you posted. Finally, a story.